because I'm really, really wanting to move on to our next dish, which is chicken poblano chowder. I'm gonna pour in, gosh, about a fourth to a third of a cup of olive oil. And to our olive oil, I'm gonna add some cumin, about a half a teaspoon. I've got one tablespoon of chicken bouillon to enhance the flavor and tenderness. I've got about a half a teaspoon of thyme, a little salt, a little white pepper, and then a half a bunch of chopped cilantro, which is really gonna give it a fabulous flavor. I really do appreciate the flavor of cilantro now once I've given it some, some good tries. All right, now I'm gonna come in here with some fresh garlic. And then I've got like five diced carrot sticks. And I've got two onions diced. So this is gonna be full of vegetable flavor. All right, so I've got all our vegetables in the pot, but now I wanna get our poblanos in there. Now I'm using a mild poblano, but I'm gonna cut them apart and just seed them and take out that vein because supposedly if a pepper is hot, it's gonna be in the vein of that pepper and in the seeds. So I'm gonna <laughs> this sucker is really kind of warm. Ooh, I want to make sure I wash my hands real good because heaven forbid should I accidentally pick my nose. <laughs> the front of my face will catch on fire. <laughs> they say the darker the pepper, the hotter it is. That finishes off our pepper. Our vegetables are coming together real good down there in that pot. Now I'm gonna add three quarts of chicken stock to this. Okay. All right, now we're gonna let this cook for about 15 minutes. But while that's cooking, I wanna come over here and I wanna make a roux that's gonna tighten our chowder for us. And I'm gonna just make a, a basic roux using one stick of butter. To our butter, we're gonna add one cup of flour. This roux acts as a thickening agent for our soup and the butter gives it a nice, rich flavor. So come on down, we're gonna finish up this chowder. Now I've got three chicken breasts that I grilled. Now I'm just gonna cut these up in pieces and throw it in that pot, and then I'm gonna bring it back to a bowl, and we're gonna drop in some of our roux, and it's gonna make it nice and tight. All right. So in goes our chicken. All right, now I'm gonna take just a couple of ladles of our stock and add to our roux. And that's just gonna kinda smooth it out for us. Because if we just dumped it in there, there's a good chance it could be lumpy. So we're gonna do it just like this. And then we're gonna add this back to our pot of vegetables. I'm gonna incorporate that stock into our flour and butter. Okay, and that looks good. I'm gonna turn that off. All right, now I'm gonna start adding it to our vegetable pot. The important thing though is I keep stirring that because I don't want our flour and butter roux to clump up on us. So I wanna pretty much keep that spoon in my pot. 
All right, I'm gonna let this simmer. I'm uh, just down here getting me a bowl and some spoons because I wanna finish up this chowder. I'm about to have a fit to taste it. It smells so good. And uh, I mean, you know, it bit me earlier with those poblano peppers. So I'm ready to bite back on it. <laughs> so I'm gonna add, to finish our chowder, I'm gonna add one cup of heavy cream. And that gives it a beautiful light color. And I'm gonna add a little hot sauce. I'm kind of afraid to add too much. All right, and we can always add more hot sauce at the table for those that like it hotter. And do you know what would be wonderful on this soup? I wish that I had thought earlier because I would have certainly taken me some floured tortillas and cut them in little strips and garnish the top with some fried tortilla chips. Oh, it would be perfect for this. All right, now a little parsley. And it's time to dig in. The cilantro flavor comes through there. Mmm, it's really good. I could prop here on the counter all afternoon and eat that chowder. Mm -hmm. 